So welcome to the second presentation of this Dictionary and Lexical Resources blog. Uh, now the speaker is Anna Salgado and uh, she comes from the Lisbon Academy of Sciences and from the Nova University in Lisbon. And she will speak about a new lexicographic resource for Portuguese language called Dicionario da Lingua Portuguesa. The floor is yours. Thanks. So good afternoon. My name uh, is Ana Salgado and uh, I have uh, uh, I do a lot of things in my life. Uh, I'm a lexicographer, I'm also a researcher and I'm uh, the, the chair of the Institute of Lexicology and Lexicography of the Portuguese Language in the uh, Lisbon Academy of Science. I am delighted to be here today to present a collaborative project that has been developed by a Portuguese team, including myself, Alberto Simões, Iriart uh, San Roman, uh, Rita Vieira, Manuela Ferreira, Rita Carmo, and uh, Conceição Pinheiro. The project we are proud to introduce to you is titled Dicionário da Língua Portuguesa, a new lexicographic resource of Academia das Ciências de Lisboa. I will dedicate uh, a few words about the Lisbon uh, Academy of Science. I will present the Dicionário da Língua Portuguesa of this academy that was made available for free access in April this year. So our pre presentation will cover uh, the following topics. We will provide an overview of the project from its conception to the final uh, product. We present Lexmart, a tool developed by uh, Alberto Simões and, um, and myself. We will introduce the dictionary model. Our starting point was a PDF of the previous edition, which was converted uh, into an XML file. We will show some of the main conversions errors and we will highlight main changes we introduced compared to the previous edition. So we'll share also the measures implemented to ensure the quality and long-term pre preservation of this uh, new resource. And one of the primary goals of the Lisbon Academy of Science was to create uh, a dictionary, the plan for a first dictionary uh, was presenting during an academic session on July 4, 1780. And despite the comment and efforts of numerous academicians, the Academy has only managed to publish three papers dictionary. So in uh, 1793, the Dicionário da Língua Portuguesa was published, ending in the letter A. And even though the, the work was interrupted in Azurrar, its value is well recognized. Perhaps ambition and quality doomed the project. Despite some more academic attempts being known, the Academy could only publish a new work again in 1976, coordinated by Jacinto Prado Coelho. His plan foresaw the liberation of a selective dictionary in three double volumes, comprising a, a set of six volumes. And like the first edition, this work didn't go behind the letter A, ending in Azuverza. In the 80s, the Institute of Lexicology and uh, Lexicography of the Portuguese Language was established. And in 1989, uh, plans were made for a new dictionary. And finally, in 2001, the Dictionary of the Contemporary Portuguese Language was released in two volumes. The first uh, edition completed uh, by the, the Academy. It was coordinated by Professor Malaka Castelero with support from various uh, organizations and a team of collaborators. And since this publication in 2001, the, Academ the Academy didn't publish any more print dictionaries. So the world has evolved and um, we have entered in the so-called uh, digital age. So the digital revolution had a tremendous impact on the lexicographic work, as you know. And unfortunately, in Portugal, lexicographic resource available on the, on the web or open access are still scarce. So face uh, with this uh, scenario, in 2015, uh, the Academy proceeded with preparatory work to create a new language dictionary. So a commission was established and I coordinated the new project involving several academicians from different fields. All the members were contacted and asked to provide the commission with information about gaps in the previous edition and proposed uh, amendments with their respect, uh, respective areas of ex expertise. So we decided just to work on terms. 
Thus, a new project began with the following uh, objectives. To continue the work from the previous edition, to con uh, conduct a comprehensive review of the previous edition, focusing on meanings associated with specific domains, and to address any potential gaps found in the previous edition. Special attention to units uh, that were supposed to be included, uh, but they okay, uh, omitted in the previous edition, and to expand and update the range of lexical units, including both general and specialized vocabulary, regionalisms, and words currently used in uh, Portuguese-speaking countries, um, and also to adhere to the new spelling uh, agreement, um, and to bet on a digital edition using a standardized and interoperable format for this purpose. So, this project to create a new Portuguese language dictionary began with converting the existing PDF file of the edition of 2001 into an editable word format. And this task proved challenging due to the, di the digitization errors and handling, handling um, a large amo uh, amount of unformatted, uh, unformatted text. And meanwhile, the review process involved uh, um, multiple experts which with um, each area creating a separate word file for their respective contributions. The need for a computational system was strongly felt at this time. So in 2016, the Academy signed a protocol with the University of Mingo to develop a database that would support a digital version of the SL dictionary. So the first task was to convert the PDF into an Excel ML document following the guidelines of text encoding initiative. All data management and control also had to be ensured, namely ensuring a daily backup system capable of uh, registering change and allowing reverting to previous versions, if necessary, and as well as accommod accommodating multiple users editing simultaneously, among many other points. So the initial editing support was the Oxygen Editor, which uh, has always continued uh, to be used. However, uh, it has gradually been replaced by Lexmart. So Lexmart is an open uh, source web platform created to support the lexicographic work of uh, the Portuguese Academy. It includes an editor, but all allows you to edit a, an entry directly also in Oxygen. We have uh, three options, so uh, we, you could um, edit uh, using the, um, the, the, the Oxygen, the, the editor, um, but you, you also have these uh, two different modes uh, on Lexmart, the visualization mode and also um, a form, uh, an editing mode, which are more user-friendly for lexicographers, let's say like this. So since April, uh, 2023, uh, the SAL has made available the Portuguese language dictionary online, and this new digital version um, is based, uh, as I referred before, uh, on the lexicographic work published in 2001, and results from the collaboration of several academicians and national researchers. So more than 30,000 entries have been added compared to the previous edition, and the previous content has been partially uh, revised. While many articles remain unchanged in the new edition, all the lexicographic content had to be adapted to the digital environment. So the traditional use of conventions, abbreviations, and symbols to save space is no longer necessary. So online, so instead, new ways of presenting articles were devised. A set of icons is now used to identify specific lexicograph uh, lexicographic components, providing clear identification for users. Here you can see in Portuguese an explanation of the various icons uh, currently being used. Uh, information is also available on the, the website. So regarding principal lexicographic components, uh, we have, uh, so uh, we, you, you can see here, we have 
I don't know if it's working, probably, yeah. We have the Lima, we have the part of speech, we have uh, the sense are numbered, and we also have a lot of quotes, and uh, we distinguish, the, for example, uh, this, this uh, icon introduced, for example, collocations, and we also have usage examples, and this icon is different from a, a, a quote. We have etymology, we, ha we have notes, we have uh, encyclopedic notes, so um, th there is a lot of information in this, um, this dictionary. But one of the main characteristics of the 2001 dictionary, which differentiates it it's from uh, other contemporary Portuguese dictionary, is the treatment of grammar um, homonyms. In the digital edition, we follow the same criterion. So, homonyms of the same etymological family belonging to different morphosyntactic categories are described in uh, separate entries. So, we have an entry for capital as an adjective, uh, uh, another entry for the feminine noun, and other for the, um, the masculine um, noun. Uh, and another feature that should be mentioned is the treatment given to the critical issue of lexical combina combination, polylexical terms, uh, whatever, multi-words expression, whatever the, uh, the term that you, want, you prefer to use. Um, so it, we try in now in the encoding, we are uh, classifying these different types of units. Classifying is if it's a proverb, if it is an idiomatic expression, if it's a, a, compo a compound. So we, we now are improving our encoding with this type of information. So the primary sources for the increase in the number of entries were as, a fo as follows. The list of gaps identified in the previous edition, the comparison of entries between uh, Jota Spell, it's the morphological anal analyzer built by the uh, Ming University, and also the, the dictionary, and the list of access from the Portuguese spelling vocabulary. Um, this is another lexicographic work uh, uh, that uh, we made um, we put available in 2018, uh, also uh, by the, um, the Academy, and also lexical units extracted from the corpus of current Portuguese uh, periodics using sketching gene, um, and also the manual collection of lexical units, and most important, the suggestions and queries from various users. So over the past few months, since April, um, the, our institute received increasing recommendations, doubts and requests for opinions. And this is, I think, a very positive si sign. And thousands, thousands of words were introduced. And for example, you, you, I'm showing just uh, an example of Metaverse, or for, or for example, this unit, Ultra Falso, that we are trying to, uh, Ultra Falso replacing the anglicism deep fake. So uh, we are trying to um, uh, resist the neologism that are um, appearing in the, and trying to uh, uh, give an answer to the, um, to the medias. Uh, also, uh, a picture is worth a thousand words, and many articles already include image. I take this opportunity to draw your attention to a feature in all uh, articles. Users may notice a label to the right of the article. So, Idria, for example, here uh, is labeled Entrada Nova, a new entry. On the other end, Parakeet, Periquito in Portuguese, despite heading an image, has not undergone any modification. So the label in this case is the LPC, um, the, the abbreviated uh, form of the title of the previous edition. And another point, even if users make spelling errors, they will still find the answer they are looking for in most cases. For example, if the user misspells Periquito with an E, he or she will still find the word prikito, and this is uh, an, on an ongoing work in development. Uh, the, in development. So, concerning lexicographic definition, sociolectal changes have dictated the revision of specific definitions, and two examples of such cha changes can be seen in these articles, for example, uh, on casamento, marriage, and cuna, the coin. In the previous edition, marriage uh, marriage was defined as a union between individuals of different sex. However, this definition had to be modified due to a new law which introduced same-sex marriage into the Portuguese legal system. So, consequently, the definitions of related lexicographic articles, such as husband, wife, and couple, um, which previously, uh, previously referred to different sex, men versus women, also had to be reformulated. In the other example, Kuna, since Croatia adopted the euro on January 2023, this year, and uh, so the, the entry had to be updated earlier um, in the beginning of the, the year. 
So in addition to the update work, numerous errors that occur during the conversion process still need to, uh, still need to uh, be corrected. So starting in October of last year, a team was employed to address the primary conversion errors that persisted and to edit and correct a lot of articles. So we worked uh, on GitHub and more than 400 tasks uh, have been completed since October, while others remain open for future an, um, analysis. So as an example, of conversion errors, I refer to cases of examples broken by punctuation marks that had not been uploaded in the correct, uh, correct component. Punctuation um, led in many cases to the incorrect import of usage examples. A frequent case uh, has to do with the abbreviation of century uh, sec, in which the implemented algorithm understood that the final point of the abbreviation would correspond to a new example. And here in the, um, you can see this in the Cordoria entry. And the same happening with the abbreviation of, of Santo, for example. And also in the entry Branco, uh, white, you, we illustrate another common uh, conversion error, what should have been a cross reference to black and white Preto e Branco was split in two blocks. Other cases that deserve attention concerns entries that deviate from the previously um, defined basic structure of the lexicographic article. For example, entries um, like um, I uh, I fi an anglicism, which contained the grammatical category, the abbreviated domain, and a cross reference required a complete overall. So, um, we also have some problems with case of etymology whose information was not correctly imported, um, special when there uh, were Greek and Latin characters, for example, in uh, Acropatia. And during the retrodigitization process, there were definitions that because they contained italics were broken into different elements. So the tagging, which uh, was based on the font of the PDF, I thought it worked in most cases, only some, some, sometimes guaranteed the correct encoding of the data. So also the masculine lemma or clown followed by the ending of the feminine form was only classified as a uh, um, uh, masculine noun and following the criteria adopted, we had uh, the missing indication of the female gender. Um, and this example also reminds me um, of another uh, operation carried uh, out systematically and directly uh, related to the issue of inclusive language. So uh, in cases where the lexical unit to be defined is applied to the male and female sex, we avoided using exclusively masculine marks um, that uh, are common in the lexicographic uh, tradition. Um, so uh, we didn't privilege any uh, of these uh, type of marks. Uh, we tried to uh, have a, a neutral discourse, let's say like this. A more controversial situation is the one of which uh, f uh, words from other language are found, loan words, and the doctrine adopted in the previous edition is that loan words in current use in Portuguese are uh, either in their original spelling or in Portuguese. However, concerning a vernacular uh, equivalent in Portuguese does not always seem to correspond to speakers' use of uh, language. On the other hand, the record of words such as free, ice, cream, nonsense, or volley also seems to be justified only by their occurrence in corpora. But there is no such evidence. So um, these forms were removed now in the new version. And on the other hand, words such as selfie or startup have been added given their high rate of occurrence. So. Uh, a few words about long-term pres pres preservation. So we, we are using open formats following pu public standards. We document uh, all decisions and start ad uh, adaptation. Uh, to ensure quality, um, we develop tools to check consistency, uh, also to uh, check a reference and cross-reference to existing uh, entries, conventions for specific uh, contents, and we also pay attention to the order of components. So as future work, the following tasks should be undertaken, continuously updating the dictionary by adding new lexical units and addressing outdated definition, enhancing the encoding and meta language for clarity, improving the, the search engine um, algorithm uh, for uh, accurate results and connecting the, this dictionary with other resources, reviewing, reviewing terms based on terminological principles and 
also participating in collaborative projects and fostering uh, synergies with research centers and other entities. So we really hope that the DLP, the Dicionário da Língua Pil Portuguesa, will serve as a cornerstone in lexicography, enabling a uh, greater understanding and appreciation for the beauty and complexity of the Portuguese language. So thank you very much for your attention. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Anna, for uh, this presentation and uh, also congratulations on publishing the new dictionary. I'm sure it will benefit many speakers and not only native speakers of Portuguese. And I'm looking around to see if there are any questions from the audience here. Okay, your turn. Yes, thank you for an exciting presentation and for a large work that you have conducted. Um, I didn't hear you, maybe you noticed it. Uh, how long does it take for you to prepare this dictionary for your... Uh, okay. It's first, uh, then a second. You mentioned that uh, there are some entries wi which propose uh, Portuguese equ equivalent to uh, English word, like uh, Wi-Fi or something. Um, uh, I'm interested about this. Uh, um, do, do you have the context of use of this Portuguese or you just create it uh, by your own? Is my second question. Uh, uh, about the, 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 no, the, the first uh, question uh, was... Uh, the, the first, the first uh, how long does it take? For no, you okay, we started this project in 2015. Okay, 2015. Mm -hmm. the, the, the main problem of this project is because we have a a <laughs> real <laughs> a problem of funding, okay? So I just have a, a few uh, amounts to spend in the academy um, uh, each year, okay? So at the beginning, I was working just alone with Albert Simões and myself for five years, okay? Five years. And then uh, I stopped, I did my PhD. Okay, <laughs> meanwhile, I decided to make, because I'm from the industry, so I came to the academy. And then just in October, we have five members working with us. So it takes a lot of time. And if you ask me how the, is, is this possible, it's just at some point, and I know that this is not the way that we can do things. It's my passion for words, my passion for lexicography. So even if I don't have the money, I didn't stop working. So I was collecting and collecting. And one of the things when they when people ask me how is it possible to have a, a dictionary with 30,000 uh, 30, entries, new entries, uh, it was because, okay, a lot of work, we had a lot of, um, of, uh, of letters and, uh, and emails in the academy saying, uh, this entry misses this, so it was easy. It's it's like there are a lot of work th that I didn't have to check on the corpus. It's so obvious that this entry has to be there. So it was just a, a, of a, um, a work of updating. Then my and my concern was when the the president of the academy decided we want to publish this online because it was privately available for a lot of uh, of. Uh, 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 a big pe period, so I, I, I told, okay, so now we have to lo look into corpora, we have to uh, uh, extract analogisms to, uh, because I, I just, I'm just worried about what is missing and, uh, and reading uh, a lot of documentation that we have, because the, the edition of uh, 2001, uh, okay, in Portugal, it was something that was um, controversial because of the decision of the law and words, okay? Because in 2001, uh, what, what happened in Portugal, it was that, um, okay, for example, people in Portugal use airbag, the, the airbag, the, the, the English word. And the academy in 2001, for example, I'm just giving an example, tried to say to the people, to the speakers, let's avoid airbag and let's use almofada de ar, the terms uh, in Portuguese. And this was not uh, accepted for the public, not. And the, the dictionary was very criticized because uh, it's like we are not, uh, yeah, you can say that we can't use this because we are uh, using this. And this leads us to uh, the question of the descriptivism and the normative and uh, I'm trying, and the work that I'm trying to do for the Lisbon Academy of Science is 
I have to recognize that we, as lexicographers, as we have to, des to describe the meanings of the, the words that are used by the speakers. But working on the academy, I must say, in some point, some recommendation. Try to avoid this, uh, use this. This is the different. For example, I, I worked for, uh, for 15 years in a, a, a big Portuguese uh, publishing house, and it was commercial, so it was different. And the academy, even if I decided, and we have now what we are doing, we collect all the, uh, lower, lower, the, uh, the, um, the foreign words that we have in the dictionary. So we have uh, uh, 2,000 entries uh, record now, okay? And with, uh, uh, we are creating a commission and giving the opinion, even if the, uh, the unit, if we look into the corpora, uh, shows a uh, high frequency, we are taking some decisions, even if uh, we will register, because uh, the, the, the frequency is high, but we, if we decided to have some, okay, let's say flyer, don't use flyer, we have folieto, for example, in Portuguese, we will try to do this recommendation, but not, uh, so, sorry, not imposing, uh, I don't know if I yeah, answered, I but then we can. Uh, sorry, I have yeah, one more question. question. <laughs> okay, okay, the same. Question. Yes, the, the last question, uh, you mentioned uh, that, uh, uh, um, uh, for male names, uh, you also add uh, feminine forms, yes? Yeah. Uh, is it always just all male? All. Mm -hmm. all. Uh, the, 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 the only thing, and that, uh, for me, this is imp impossible to do. So we have decided to keep the masculine as in the first position and then to add systematically because the, 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 pr the, the print edition has the, the, the feminine also, okay? But it, it was not something that was uh, systematized all, uh, along the dictionary. So now we this, we uh, revise this this uh, this issue. One of the things that uh, we and we can't do this in the Lisbon Academy of Science because I don't have uh, uh, data for this because people are asking me, oh, there is more nurse, it nurse that are more w women. So we have to put first. Well, no, I can't do this because I don't have this. Uh, this uh, security to to take this type of decision, yeah. but yes, we uh, we are putting one of the things. Yeah, if we have one more question. Excuse oh, me, it's sorry? difficult. Okay. And understand we're <laughs> running out of time. We have one question from okay. online that we can answer <laughs> very can quickly. Answer uh, can I ask you what your criteria for ordering senses in the dictionary is? I noticed that the first adjective sense of capital is little used. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, okay, let's say okay. No. I, okay, for this edition, as I told, uh, we don't have, uh, we just partially revised the content, so we were worried about the updating of the, the resource, so, but um, the, the, the criterion that, and probably it's not uniform, I, I know that it's not, uh, it was to, um, to post first uh, the original sense Work uh, by the Etimon, and then adding new senses, and uh, the um, specialized senses go in the end. But as you see in this uh, entry, this is not uh, correct. Uh, if you uh, current, if you, um, you look, because we have here the domain label economy, and then, for example, I have here a sense that is not uh, unlabeled. So this is something that we have to work. But if you ask me the criteria that I want to apply now, and when we are, this is the interest that already existed, but for the new interest, I'm always putting the new census first, okay? Because the, the, there is a high probability that uh, users uh, uh, search for this yes, sense. That makes sense. Thank you. Thank you very much. We need to allow minutes, a few minutes to change rooms, and we'll be here back okay. again very soon. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Okay.